Hello everyone again and welcome to my channel. On our previous videos we talked about the 3x3 Sigmatropic rearrangement that we proceeded further to knowing more about the 2x3 Sigmatropic rearrangement and we saw various examples from various applications of those particular movements or rearrangements in there and now we are heading to our 1 to 5 sigmatropic hydrogen shift now this is quite different because in here we're looking at the migration of a group around a conjugate system and this actually results in a transition state with a six membered ring so let's look at this particular structure in here and let's look at how we can be able to identify when a particular compound is about to go in a one by five sigmatropic hydrogen shift so if you have this particular compound in here with our R group and the higher group is attached with a hydrogen to a particular carbon and in here we have this cyclopent so dying in this particular case what we see or realize is that hey let me just label this hydrogen here or uh, let me label this one and just show that oh there are actually one hydrogens each in here just to expand the structure so what we realize is that hmm if you subject this to a little bit of a heat what we realize is that if you number this first we see a pattern which is one two three four five now i'm counting one two three four five in this case because i want to show you that the movement starts from one and here five so i'm migrating from this particular one region over to my number five region in here with respect to one particular hydrogen atom so what happens in this case is that if i show you my arrows that means that i'm going to form a new sigma bond in this particular carbon 5 here and this my double bond forms a double bond in here and this my double bond forms a double bond in here so what we have as a result is the proceeding of our 1 by 5 sigma tropic hydrogen shift from carbon 1 to carbon 5 and this is our structure of our product where this is our hydrogen one and this is our hydrogen other hydrogen which is present here and on this other side we have our R group in there now this actually is important because when we head to like this particular type of reaction which you will have at the bottom here what we realize is that we have to make a choice on where we want our reaction to go let's start off first by looking at this in here we just have a regular cyclopentadiene in here if you subject this to a base the base picks up a proton in here and forms a negative charge that negative charge is kind of showing that oh the lone pair is in resonance with this other pi electrons as shown here and what we realize is that oh okay if i subject this to any methyl bromide in here what happens here is that this acts as a strong base or a strong nucleophile where or performs an s n2 reaction where this particular one attacks this particular species and picks up this particular r group by a form of alkylation and then what we have is the living of our living group which is the bromide in there so what we have is the methylation of this particular compound as shown here and now one question that we need to ask is will this reaction proceed further in a 4 plus 2 cyclo addition or it will take another path in here so this is a 4 plus 2 cyclo addition where we have this dye in here and we have our dienophile in here and what happens is that in one of the pi electrons in here is going to perform a 2 and this is going to be our 4 electron system to form this particular chair conformation product in here which is an endo product on the other side we could actually perform another reaction which is pretty much faster than going through this path which is a 1 by 5 sigmatropic process in this particular case so I'm going to show you how that actually occurs rapidly first before actually going in this particular manner so in here we have our R group 
attached to a carbon and this carbon is attached to a hydrogen uh, on this other side we have our particular segments over there which is our cyclopentadiene so what happens here is that we have or we perform a 1 by 5 sigmatropic hydrogen shift where this is actually being done and then we have this particular process taking place and what we have is that the reaction is actually proceeding more towards the right than to the left in a 1.5 hydrogen shift and this right favorability is actually due to the more stabilization our double bond is in terms of actually it being formed in this particular case so what we have is this particular product that is being formed first and this is actually kind of at equilibrium with the other one I'm going to draw after this so it goes back and forth because this is kind of a continuous process and this continuous process is a continuous substitution of a hydrogen movement going from one to another in that particular manner so we have this particular one and we have another one which is actually shown in here so we have our R group we have this other double bond and we have our other hydrogen which is moving from carbon 1 here carbon 5 to carbon 4 which is shown here and there respectively so that's about it for this particular video I hope you're able to understand this and it's kind of interesting because this will actually go first before it can actually perform a 4 plus 2 saccharidation reaction with this in order for we to generate another product compared to what we've drawn over there anyways you can actually try to draw the other product when this actually reacts with this by a 4 plus 2 saccharidation reaction and just for fun in that particular case all the same thanks for following me through this we truly appreciate it hit the comment down below let me hear your thoughts hit the like share and subscribe and be smart bye